So now we're going to begin our unit on volume. Well, and to talk about volume, we need to start uh, with some new words and some uh, shapes which move from two-dimensional to three-dimensional. Uh, and the first word is a polyhedron. And a polyhedron is a solid formed by a polygon that, uh, that enclose a single region of space. And right now I have drawn a pyramid here. And this pyramid is a, looks like a square pyramid. And it is uh, made up of polygons. And those polygons are squares and triangles. Each polygon, this would be considered a face of the polyhedron. And where two pol where two excuse me faces meet would be an edge. And where three or more edges meet would be a vertex. Just like before when we did two dimensionals. So now we have edges, faces, and vertices. And the other thing we need to talk about is how we classify polyhedron. And we classify polyhedron the same way as we classified polygons. Polygons, we classified them by the number of uh, sides. With polyhedra, we classify by the number of faces. And so some of the classifications are, some of the words, excuse me, are uh, tetrahedron or pentahedron, hexahedron, heptahedron, septahedron, octahedron. And of course, a tetrahedron has four faces, penta five faces, hexa six, seven, eight, you can guess. guess. Now, I'm just telling you how many faces. That's all those words do. They don't exactly tell you what the shape is. A pentahedron has five faces. Well, that could be, uh, let's see, you have a pentagon, it could, no, it, it, it has a base of four, and then a tri like this. That, pi that pyramid is a pentahedron, right? One, two, three, four, five faces, right? Four faces uh, is a tri is a triangular pyramid on top of a triangle. Excuse me, a triangular pyramid all together. Let's see. So I draw that. One, two, three. I don't do these very well. Can you see that? So it's a triangular triangular pyramid. Like this. Hexahedron could be a cube. It could also be a pentagonal pyramid. Yes, because it could be a pentagon in the base with six triangular faces. Right. So the, the these names are not as descriptive as the polygons, okay? So, uh, if, though, let's get a little bit more specific. If, indeed, each face of a polyhedron is enclosed by a regular polygon and each face is uh, congruent to the other faces and meet at each vertex in exactly the same way, then the polyhedron is called a regular polyhedron, okay? And just like a regular polygon, where every angle is the same, and every side the same, a regular polyhedron, every face the same, and they meet the same way. That's kind of an important part. And I have some examples, I won't try to draw these. So, okay, of course, a cube, like a regular die here, that's a regular polyhedron. And then, and that has six faces. This is a octahedron, it has eight faces, and every face is a equilateral triangle excuse me, a regular, uh, it's a, an equilateral triangle, of course. And then I have also, let's see, this red one here is, has, has um, 12 faces. You can see that it goes to 12. These are nice because all the sides are the same and all the same size, so, so that's why they make good die. That's 12 faces, that's a dodecahedron. And then I have another one that has 20 faces. And if you can, see, let's see if you can, if I can zoom in a little bit here. Um, this one, every face is, again, an equilateral triangle. And they meet in the same way. Now, you may think about, well, how does it not meet in the same way? Uh, around the room, if when you go back to my room, I have some shapes hanging from the ceiling where they're actually pyramids that come out. 
and those are kind of those would not meet in the same way. Some of them be convex, con in concave, how you know, they meet, and those are called stellated polyhedrons. Now let's talk about a special polyhedra. Uh, a, a prism is a polyhedron with two congruent polygon, polygonal faces and with all remaining faces parallelograms. This one is a pentagonal prism. We classify it by the two faces which match. And of course these two faces are pentagons. The one that's here and the one that's hiding down there. And like, if I go like this, this is still a pentagon. And the, uh, fa the the remaining faces were, were all parallelograms. Now, I don't have it marked, but uh, you can give me a little credit there, and that's okay. I can mark it. Now, I have also drawn one that looks similar, but a little bit different. The parallelogram looks more like what you consider uh, a parallelogram again. It can maybe a little slanted, not a rectangle. This one would be more looking like a rectangle. This one looks like more a parallelogram, kind of a, a cute angle. Uh, this one is also a prism. These two are uh, congruent to pentagons, and the faces are still parallelograms. Well, so you're saying, well, how, how do I know the difference? Well, this one, if the parallelograms that are connecting are connecting at right angles, then it's called a right prism. And I will mark And a right angle here. Okay. If their parallelograms are an acute angle, well, that means that there is a right angle out there, but it's outside of the prism. This is called an oblique prism. And the oblique prisms are made up. Um, such that these edges, these lateral edges, are not perpendicular to the base. So the bases are the two uh, polygons that are congruent, and in a right prism, the lateral edges, lateral edges, are indeed perpendicular to the base. So, when I draw these out for you, I will mark the right angle, whether it's going to be at the polygon or outside the polygon. Okay, the polyhedron, excuse me. All right, now, there are also, uh, we said that a prism is made up of polygons, but we can also make shapes that are non-polygons that have volume also. Uh, and you're very familiar with something like a cylinder. And the best definition I found was it's a surface generated by rotating the parallel line segment around a fixed line. And so the rotation, we've kind of done that before uh, when we rotated a two-dimensional two uh, polygon around an axis. So now if you have this axis and if I rotate a, a line segment or it's kind of, you can think of it as a, a rectangle rotating around there, then it would make a cylinder. Once again, I can make a cylinder at a right angle, or I can take that axis and put it on a diagonal through this way. And this one would be an oblique cylinder. And again, to mark the right angle, so you would know the right angle here, the height or the altitude of this cylinder runs right through the axis. The altitude of this one is actually going to be outside the cylinder. So here's the altitude from a vertex, from, from a from one base to the other base. Running straight there is the altitude. So on this one, it would run as the same as the axis. On this one, it's going to be on the outside. Now, so we defined polyhedra, regular polyhedra, and cylinders. And, you know, this 
is supposed to be talking about volume. Well, I'm sure that most of you have already, you know what a volume is. If we take the volume, that it's like stacking pennies, right? If you know how, what the, what the area of a penny is, or if it's two-dimensional, and then how many pennies you have, that's your volume. So, or in other words, the volume of any prism or cylinder is the area of the base multiplied by the height. And oftentimes it's V equals capital B times H. And the capital B, excuse me, the capital B refers to the area of the base. This works for any of these poly, uh, not, not all, any of the polyhedra, excuse me. It works for the cylinders and the prisms. So anything that has two congruent bases, you can use this. And this is where we're just going to start, okay? The volume of any prism or cylinder is the area of the base times the height. So I have a couple examples. This is the one I tried to draw. This is a square pyramid. Uh, uh, these would be your edges, edges, vertex, vertex, and these are the faces, the triangle, triangular faces, and the base at the square base at the bottom. This would be a hexagonal. Yes, hexagonal uh, prism, two hexagons that are um, parallel, meet with parallelograms, and uh, it, uh, let's see, how many, how many faces does it have? It has one, two, and then six rectangles, that's make eight, that would make it an octahedron, yes. Um, here is the triangular pyramid, the tetrahedron that I didn't draw so well. Yes. Uh, of course, the cube and another right triangular prism. Yes. Uh, this, even though it has a regular equilateral, it's still not a regular polyhedron. Okay. So here are your problems for the day. Uh, we need to find the volume and exact answers for a right triangular prism with those edge lengths, a right cylinder with a radius of 6 inches and a height of 15. Uh, and I'll zoom out a second here. There we go. A regular hexagonal prism with every edge of 8 and a 10 uh, an edge of 10 inches that is part of the rectangle and notice that I've marked that as right uh, also and then number 4 is an oblique cylinder with a radius of 4 inches and 15 inches is a lateral edge and 12 inches is your altitude Okay. All right. Good luck, and I will see you tomorrow.